Conrad Shawcross is one of Britain's most exciting young artists. Exploring the potent marriage of art and science, his work has developed in diverse directions. Studying in art in university was key to my practice in that we were sort of exposed to all these subjects and history and, and English and poetry and sciences. So it wasn't art about art. The mathematics of music in visual form has become a major theme within Conrad's work. So this is the sort of famous Victorian harmonograph, which became a sort of Victorian novelty at dinner parties and a toy, essentially. It was actually invented to study the, um, the vibrations in buildings when they were building the tube network. So it was almost like a seismograph, but it was the birth of synesthesia and the birth of visualizing musical mathematics. You get these sort of beautiful forms that emerge from the noise. Conrad uses the harmonograph to produce a drawing based on the mathematical ratios within a musical chord. It's then transformed into three dimensions in his manifold sculpture. In one way you could describe it as a picture of a chord falling into silence. And it sits on this long stem, but time is moving downwards and then there's a decay factor, so it's a journey towards silence. Science and art have originally married to each other, but there's been a period of separation, but I think there, there's a momentum to get them back together again. There is this sense that the artist is irrational and the scientist is rational, and that therefore they can't coexist, but I don't think it is like that. I think there's so much irrational or, or imaginative leaps of faith that the scientist has to make. And so many artists, whether it's Monet or whether it's Carl Andre, they set themselves experiments, they go back to the same lily pads, they're painted at different times of day, but it's the same scene, and they get beyond the real, beyond the visible, and trying to discover.